You see that flag? It's flying now. But they're trying to bring it down. You know it and I know it. It doesn't matter whether you agree that America's corrupt country or this or that and another. But a man who won't fight for his own, a man who won't stand up and defend what God gave him, is a man who cowers down and gives in to evil. If they could, they'd have your sons as daughters and your daughters as men. They'd turn them against you and they would run you into the ground ragged and make you their slave. They don't like what you stand for. They don't like what you believe in. They don't like your God. They hate your faith and they do not like your values. Why? Because that right there, brothers and sisters of America, is the only thing stopping them from taking over the world. Real talk. They've got Europe. They've got the third world countries. They've got the Arab countries. They're bringing Israel down. They'll bring us down. They've already got Canada, Australia. You're looking at the last best hope of the free world right there. And I'm telling you something right now. Gen X, millennial Gen Z, you don't know what you've got till it's gone. And Gen X, you remember what it was like before they turned this thing into what it is now. I ain't telling you how to vote, and I ain't telling you what to believe, but I'm telling you 2024, they'll burn this thing down to the ground before they give it back to us. And if you're a praying man, you better start praying that God would raise up leaders, God would raise up men, God would raise up women who would resist this evil indoctrination of our children, of our life, and of our families, and of our American way. Because I'm all about the next dude having freedom, but the next dude ain't all about me having freedom. And I'm going to say to you right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm a God-fearing man, and I love my nation. I love all nations. Heaven's going to be full of all kinds of people. But God instituted this nation so that the whole world would blend together, and he made the best out of it. And it's gone wrong. It ain't what it's supposed to be. And you could complain and you could pick it apart and you can go with the bones of America and do whatever you want to say. But they don't leave, do they? Because they want the ripest tree. They want the ripest fruit on the vine. We're in their way. 2024 will be full of riots. There's something coming down the pipe. I can feel it in my bones. We're on the edge of Armageddon, and that thing's flying right now, and you'll damn well miss it when it's gone. Trust me. And do you see all these people right here? Do you know how many of those are veterans? And I'll guarantee you, they did not fight so that we could have our kids getting sex changes and doing all these things that's going on in the name of government. They would be appalled. They could not even believe what has happened to us. They would be ashamed and embarrassed. And I am too. But I'm going to stand up and say not on my watch. Not while I'm breathing. God bless America. God help us. We're going to need him now. There's a dog fight coming, and it's coming to our shores. Get ready. Mystery Babylon could fall in one hour. You're going to miss this when it's gone. <laughs>